An earthquake so powerful it shifted the Earth's axis? That's what scientists say happened on Saturday when Chile was shaken by a mega tremor that registered 8.8 .8 on the Richter scale. One of those scientists is with us now, Andreas Rietbrock, a professor of earth sciences at England's Liverpool University. He's analyzed the area in Chile that was struck by the quake. Andreas, let's start with this slightly disbelievable analysis, although we have to believe you guys are the scientists. How does an earthquake shift the Earth's axis? So the earthquake is redistributing the masses, so the rocks on the surface. And if you have such a big earthquake, you're actually talking about 200, 300 kilometers in length and about 40, 50 to 100 meter, 100 kilometer in width. So you're moving these rocks up nearer to the earth's surface and redistributing in that way the masses of the earth. It's like if you have watched uh, the Olympics, the figure skating, if you uh, look at the period there if the athletes move their arms closer to the to to the center they are just speeding up and spinning much more quickly an effective explanation i want to ask you though how often does this happen we've heard that the tremor 8.8 .8 on the richter scale made chile's earthquake the fifth most powerful since 1900 how high do you have to get for this kind of effect to take place uh, so you have to be in the high magnitude 8 earthquakes as far as I can see it. The analysis was done by NASA and I think we are right now only beginning to understand and actually able to compute these kind of, of very small effects. Now speaking of computations, another analysis done uh, in the wake of this earthquake shows that the day actually got shorter and we're not talking about the day just in Chile the day for everybody around the globe can you try to help explain how that happens yeah because um, as I explained early on you're changing the rotation speed of the earth because you redistributed the masses therefore the earth is not spinning so fast anymore and therefore our day has changed in this all right, Andreas, thank you so much for joining us. Andreas Rietbrock of Liverpool University in England explaining how the Earth's axis shifted and the day got shorter. Incredible stuff.